Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. This is episode number 15. Uh, if you're new, my name is Ella. If you're a previous subscriber, you already know that. <laughs> uh, I've had a little surge of subscri subscribers lately, which is cool. So welcome everybody who's new. And hello to everybody who's returning. Um, I don't have a whole lot of stuff to show this week because I've done a lot of crochet, but a lot of it's for Halloween. And I'm keeping that off of here for now because my sister watches and we're like keeping it a secret until Halloween of what we're dressing up as. So I can't really show. I have two finished objects that have to do with that and one of them is Devin's hat and one of them is a uh, prop for Jesse's costume. But I'll be able to show them in two weeks. Well I'll, I might make a Halloween video. I don't know. You'll see them soon enough. <laughs> But um, I have another finished object which I don't have with me because it's already been taken. And it's the, um, I think it's called the Shells and Vines Baby Sweater. I finished it. I'll pop up some photos. Um, I finished it Friday, I think. I can't remember. And now I just, I do need to make the hat. And I got the yarn ready for it to make the little hat to go with it. That, my sister ordered that for a baby shower that she's going to. Um, on the 20th of October. So I got plenty of time to finish that and it's only going to take like an hour to make that hat. So I'm planning on doing that on a day that Jesse's not here so I can focus on it and do it proper. <laughs> but um, that's all my finished objects. I can't even show any of them. It kind of stinks but you'll see them eventually. I have worked a little bit more on my whips. I will link that sweater though below. It's a free pattern. I uh, I'll link the Ravelry page, but you have to go to get the pattern. You have to go to her blog, but it uh, it goes straight to it. So, and it's the Shells and Vine sweater by Jeannie Blankenship, and the yarn that I'm using or used for it, and will be using for the hat, is Yarn V. It's probably blown out because the window's right there. It's called um, Pretty in Pink. It's a sport weight, and it's just you know it's a cute, pretty little pink yarn with like a ribbony pink through it. Uh, and the other two finished objects that I finished and can't show, they're all just made with scraps. Which is lucky, I just have enough scraps. Actually, I did have to buy the color for Devin's hat, I think. Oh well. Either way. <laughs> Alright, my whips. I only have two active whips. One of which is in my cat bag. I haven't worked on this at all, I don't think, since last week. But I will be finishing the ears at least this week because they're due for the cow. This is my bat uh, in a pumpkin by Mary Smith. It's a paper pattern. It's on sale right now because it's part of her um, crochet along on her Facebook group. But I have his body done, which I showed last week. The pumpkin is done, which I think is weird looking. <laughs> he, he'll he sit in it once he's done. And uh, his wings. I haven't worked on it all. All I gotta do for him this week is make his ears and attach them in his wings. So I just have to do that by Tuesday. So I'll probably actually be doing that maybe today. I don't know. Oh, he won't fit back in his bag. I'll squeeze him in there. <laughs> He's almost too big for the bag. I love that bag. This pattern, I'm just gonna keep it linked below because I'm gonna keep using this bag and my other one, which is inked right now. And I wanna make more. My neighbors are making noises. But, uh, I like that a lot. I think I did pretty good on them even though I'm not a seamstress. <laughs> My only other current whip that I'm actually working on is Santa. Last week I showed his arms, which I still haven't stuffed. I need to stuff his arms. I should have stuffed his hands a long time ago because now they're going to be really hard to stuff. But Oh well. I got his arms done, which I showed last week. One foot. I have it weaved in the hands and he's it's stuffed already. He's got hair on it. And then I'm working, his other foot is done, and I'm working on his leg. One of his legs. I feel like his feet are humongous, but I follow the pattern. But he's going to be an 18 inch uh, amigurumi. He's attached to a big old giant thing of red heart. Cherry red? Yes, cherry red. Because at the time, this was the only cherry red I had. And I had just some scraps of like a brighter red, and I didn't want to have to buy more, so I thought this dark red would look good as Santa. I'm going to stick this over here and try not to hit the tripod. I'm probably going to hit it. Uh, sorry if you shook a little. 
that's all red heart. The black is red heart, and the green on his hands is red heart. He's probably going to be made completely out of red heart, because I have a bunch of it. And, uh, dang it, the, the, um, the bat is mostly red heart, too, except the pumpkin. But the Santa pattern is also by Mary Smith. It's also a paid-for pattern, and I don't know if it's on sale right now, but she's almost always got some sort of discount code. She's got a lot of cute, larger amigurumis. I love making her patterns, and I'll probably end up making a lot of them. Okay, let's see here. That'll be linked below. I already said that. I haven't worked at all on the Dobby keychain. I have the yarn still picked out for it. I just haven't gotten around to doing it <laughs> this week. Oh, her something. I was checking my baby monitor. Jesse's sleeping. I don't know if you can see it, but he's sleeping. He's taking a nap. Um, I don't know. This week I was working on Devin's Halloween hat. I wanted to hurry and get it done because I was afraid I would procrastinate it too, like the week of Halloween and not get it done so I finished it something's making really weird noises I think it's my water heater <laughs> anyways um, and then Jesse's little prop for his Halloween costume it only took like 30 minutes and it was free handed I was like looking at a pattern of one but the pad if I had followed the pattern for it it would have came out larger and I needed it to be small because he's little. He don't need a big giant thing to carry around. And it's really just for pictures because I know he won't carry it the whole time we're trick or treating. He'll throw it or something. And that's that's kinda like Devin's hat. I highly doubt he'll wear the hat the whole night but uh pictures. I'm gonna crochet one more thing. I'm trying to peel a piece of skin off my finger. I know that's totally random, but I got a piece of skin and I'm trying to get it off. But <laughs> anyways, I have one more thing to crochet for Halloween, and it's another prop for Jesse. Uh, we have like a bicycle tricycle thingy that has a handle that we can push him on. I'm going to take him trick or treat to that because it's easier to maneuver than his stroller. And it's got a little trunk on the back. And this this other thing that I'm going to crochet that I'll show you when I can. <laughs> Um, it's going to be attached to that, and it's just a little decoration that goes with the theme of our costumes, and it's just cute. And I'm actually going to show you, this is the yarn that it's going to be made with. Some people might know what this is. This is really bright red, so it might be blown out. Black and white. Scraps. Uh, these are red heart. Okay, I'm back again. <laughs> Life just popped up. Okay, <laughs> we've been having issues with our water heater last, uh, since Saturday, and the maintenance man came out Monday and fixed it, and um, by Monday night we didn't have any hot water again. So this morning, or what morning was it? Tuesday morning, we, um, was it Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday morning I called and complained again, and he came out and fixed it again, <laughs> and Turns out he didn't, something to do with a wire connecting with a screw, didn't get screwed all the way. I don't know. I'm not an electrician or a plumber. Um, so it, we had well, water for, the Monday night we had a little bit of hot water, and then yesterday, or Tuesday, we didn't have any hot water, or Wednesday. So now finally, Thursday, it's Thursday, I'm filming this. He came out, he fixed it, and it's been had hot water all so far all day, and then he came back now. He came and fixed it this morning, and he came back now to, uh, Make sure it was still hot, and it is. It was actually super duper hot. He had to turn it down. <laughs> and then when he left, he forgot to trip the breaker back to turn the water here back on. So that's why I had to get back up and trip it because I, I seen it. it was not uh, on. Anyways, back to the yarn. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. I was talking about this. I almost just put myself in the eye with that. Um, There's going to be a decoration for his bicycle stroller thingy because it's easier to push, and I just thought it would be cute to have that on there because it's related to our costumes. Anyways, I will show all that probably around Halloween. I might make a special video that comes out on Halloween night or something. I don't know. You'll see it when you see it, I guess. <laughs> I'm waiting for a text for Devin. He left for work and uh, he always texts me when he gets there. So if you see me looking down, that's why. Real life stuff. <laughs> Alright, that's all my whips. Right, I talked about the hat. I talked about the dobby and the mystery thing that some of you because it's been posted to Ravelry, Ravelry recently you might know what it is just by its colors if you do know what it is don't spoil it 
I don't know why I'm keeping our home and customs a secret other than just my sister. I just wanted to surprise her with it because we're going to her house that day uh, to trick or treat in her town because her town does daytime trick or treating. I think 12 to 5 or 2 to 5. For kid, it's meant for the littler kids to go around the whole city, like all the businesses and all that around the square, and get candy so that they don't have to do it at night time. So I'm actually going to take Jesse to that while Devin's at work because he's working half a day Halloween. He took off after lunch so that we could go trick or treating with Jesse and um, Catherine, the little girl that I babysitted this summer, who's kind of like Jesse's cousin slash aunt in a way. But um, anyways. <laughs> um, we're, I'm going to take him to that during the day and let him trick or treat around there and then we're going to hang out with my sisters until he gets off work because he works in the town that she lives in. And then we're going to come back to our town, which is like a 30 minute drive, pick up cat and trick or treat, actual trick or treating around for a little while because you know Jesse's only 17 months old. He's going to be tired by the time any of that's over with. But we're going to heat up like the churches with the trunk or treats and things like that. Because in all honesty, most of the candy is going to be eaten by me and Devin. <laughs> because Jesse can, can't eat everything and I don't want him to eat a ton of it. So I'll eat a ton of it because I'm a grown up and I can make those decisions for myself. <laughs> Anyways, yarn. Um, here I, must, I guess I was just talking about that. I'm babbling. I'm sorry. Uh, acquisitions. Acquisitions. I did acquire one yarn. This was what Devin's hat's made out of, which is another hint, I guess, towards. This was a full skein. Actually, I think I showed this last week. I think I showed it last week. But it's Cafe Latte Red Heart Super Saver. And it's just, it's floppy now because it's less a hat. <laughs> um, I showed the stitch markers last week. Alright, next acquisitions I didn't pay for, so they're 100% free for me. My sister did buy them. She bought them at Goodwill, which is a thrift store around here. It's probably around everywhere. I don't know. But, uh, me and Devin was eating breakfast one morning. Excuse me. Very burpy. At Burger King, we took Jesse to Burger King, um, one morning, and Hattie, my sister's name is Hattie, <laughs> and, um, she was at their store, obviously, and she found some yarn, and she, she knew that I used Red Heart already, so she, she was already planning on getting me the Red Heart, and then she found three brunettes, and she was like, do you use this yarn? Do you want this yarn? And I was like, uh, yeah, I want it, because I want any yarn that's not eyelash yarn. Although I do kind of want some red and white eyelash yarn to, like, you know, like Santa's, uh, around his little sleeves and stuff. I think it'd be cute and, like, fuzzy yarn, but I heard it's real hard to work with, so I don't know. Anyways, this is what she bought me. These are each 99 cents, by the way. Full, unused skeins. Got a little bit of hairs on them, but I can deal with that. This is Red Heart Super Saver. Bright yellow, which I don't have this. I have, the only other bright yellow I have right now is Crafter's Secret. I think it's Crafter's Secret or Crafter's Choice. It's Crafter's something. I'm just going to check this over there because my table's full. Let me check on the baby. I keep thinking I hear noises. He's still sleeping. Alright, this one's a little squished. Pumpkin, which I have some pumpkin. And it's a different color than this, so I don't know if this is older or if the one I have is older. But either way, it's always good to have orange because orange is a nice color to have. Royal. Which I don't have any royal. All the red heart blue I have is called blue. And it's really similar to royal, but it's a little bit different. There's two ends sticking out there. Someone must have cut that. But oh well. It's always good to have blues, you know. I make a lot of amigurumis, which I'm sure you've noticed. So I use pretty much any color yarn in any brand. And I like red heart super saver. I don't know why there's so many yarn snobs out there who don't. Two skeins of black, but you can always use black. And then this, what goes with my Santa, if I can pick it up, two skeins of cherry red. Little normal size skeins. The one that I already had was one of the jumbo ones, which I think are 10 ounces. And these ones are 7 ounces. Is that right? These are 7 ounces and that one's 14 ounces. So that's basically this. <laughs> checking them in the floor. Alright, the other ones, I'm really excited about this because I've been wanting some of this yarn to try it. I have no idea what I'm going to make with it. Probably a big amigurumi. And my sister found it. Oh, Devin text. Sorry, let me text him. Okay. <laughs> um, there are the four. I have to bend down again. Ooh, I'm so excited about these. I have no idea what I'm going to make, though. Alright, they're Burnett Blanket 
full balls of brunette blanket. I don't know what the colors are. And they're, I'm not used to these bands. So it's going to take me like a year to find it. Dark gray, even though it's really light gray. So I wonder where the light gray is. Purple plum, even though it looks maroon to me. And I assume this is white. Sugar cookie. It's kind of like a yellowy white. Actually, now that I look at it in the sunlight. That's pretty cool. But anyways, these sell at Michael's for $9.99. She got them for me, each of them, for 99 cents. That is so cool, I think, because that's the only reason I haven't bought this yarn to try anything with. Because it's $10 a skein, or a ball. These are more ball shaped to me. I'm not going to pay $10 for a skein of yarn that I can only make something small with. Because granted, these are giant skeins. But they're super bulky, I believe, even though they look more bulky to me. Yeah, they're super bulky. And almost every pattern with stuff with this, you need like 10 skeins to make anything. Like a blanket, you know, it's blanket yarn. It's meant to be make, to make blankets with. But I'm probably going to make some sort of amigurumi with it. I have no idea what, though. Like dogs or something. I don't know, just something that my son can play with or that I can give to some baby that gets born. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm pretty excited. This is actually our local school's colors. The local high school is gray and maroon. Because this looks maroon. I don't know what it looks like to you, but it's called purple plum. Plums are usually dark color, at least the plums I've seen. And this is not plum. This is this looks maroon. Chuck them over there. I figured where to put those. That one almost went in the living room. <laughs> But yeah, that's all my acquisitions, and I only had to pay for this one, but I think I showed there this one. Actually, that's that was 10 so it was $10 plus tax or whatever. And I took that off of the sweater hat set, because I was charging her 30 for it. And now she owes me 20 for it. So that's cool. And I get yarn. I love yarn. There was more yarn there. Like, they kind of get at Joann's in a bag. I think they're called Millen's. But she said that they were all covered in, like, dog hair. They were still in their bag, too, so I don't know how that happened. But that might actually have been why they were at their store. Maybe they were discarded from a, the store store. I don't know. Those ones are perfectly fine, and I will use them from Amigurumi's or something. I don't know. I am excited about using that Bernat blanket. I don't know what I'm going to make, but I'll make something eventually with them. I think that's everything. <laughs> everything yarn-related. Life stuff, I will throw some life stuff in here, so if you're you're done with, you know, if you only want to look at the yarn stuff or whatever, down below is my Instagram link. You can follow me at my Ravelry uh, page. You can follow me at and friend me on there. And then my Ravelry group is listed on there. It's not very active. There's some, what's the word I'm looking for? Activity? <laughs> There's some activity on there, but not very much. Um. I'm not that good at like initiating conversations, but <laughs> um, life stuff. That's what I was gonna say. Monday morning. Was it Monday morning? Yes. Monday morning. Um, we got calls and texts. I woke up to my my husband's phone vibrating because his was on vibrate. Mine was on you know no sound at all, which I'm gonna stop sleeping that way. I need to sleep with sound on because. Uh, my sister, my brother, and my stepfather, I keep on saying father-in-law, my stepfather, um, were trying to get a hold of everybody, you know, because my mom woke up and, like, couldn't move and stuff, and he had thought that she had had a stroke in her sleep, and she, my mom has a lot of heart problems and stuff, she's, she's, like, clinically disabled or whatever, I don't know what that's called, um, she's got a lot of health issues, and, um, so naturally we all freaked out, we all ran to the hospital, and the good hospital around here is like a 30 minute drive away because the local hospital is just like a little tiny one that not that good but the one that's right down the road it's like 30 minutes down the road is um like nationally known as a good you know a heart specialty hospital i don't know what i'm saying anyways we went there and we waited and waited and she ended up getting she recovered very quickly so the doctors are already kind of thought that maybe you know it probably wasn't a stroke because she recovered you know, she was numb and stuff. Okay, where's the camera at? There it is. <laughs> I've not filmed on my phone before. 
uh, this phone at least. Uh, I feel like I should have probably turned it the other way. Um, I'm going to try not to look at myself a lot because I usually look, you know, I film with my, this camera. Which actually has a pretty good quality to be an older camera. But, um, I got cut off. Ooh, that's really bright. I got cut off because my battery died. I thought it was charged, but apparently it wasn't, obviously, because it cut off. Anyways, what I was saying before it died, I'm not exactly sure where it died because it was literally, it literally just happened like a minute ago. And sometimes it stops recording earlier than when it turns off. But, um, they thought my mom had had a mini stroke and they did tests and all that stuff. And at first they thought that, yeah, it was a mini stroke, but then, you know, when they did a CT scan, they realized that it probably, it wasn't a mini stroke because there was no signs of it at all and I guess you know there's always some sort of sign of a stroke and they checked her um arteries and stuff for being clogged and stuff and I guess it wasn't that bad because they didn't say anything and so they kept her overnight to observe her we went home that's that's when we went out to eat <laughs> at Burger King when my sister went to the thrift shop but uh and we played because that Burger King is one of the only ones around here that still has the um uh, jungle jimmy thing and Devin was up in there with <laughs> Jesse and I was so scared they were gonna like fall because it says on there like ages 4 to 11 but uh which neither of them are Jesse's not even two and Devin's in his 20s so but anyways no one died it was fun uh back to my mom the next day she they cleared her she went home and she's been fine ever since they actually think that she probably had a what's it called lucid dream I think it was lucid dream or a lucid, lucid dream? Lucid. I think it was lucid. A very intense dream that when you wake up from it or while you're doing it even, you're like in a paralytic state. And they think that that's why she couldn't move when she first woke up. And then that's the... Blah, 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 blah. They also think that that's why she recovered so quickly. My hair looks horrible. I've been grocery shopping today, so... And when I grocery shop, I run around to different stores looking for deals. So I look pretty... Bull afterwards. Anyways... I think that's all the life updates, other than the water heater, which I said earlier, which is annoying. It's it, you don't really realize how important that is until you don't have hot water. Um, hopefully, it stays hot because I'm tired of having to go to other people's houses to shower. And like last night, I didn't get to give Jesse a bath, and usually that's how I get him to stay up later so that he sleeps better. And then he slept horrible last night. Something just made a noise. He got out like six or seven times last night, and one one time was from 2.38 to 4.45, and then he got up at 5.40, and then at 6.30, and at 6.30 I woke Devin up, and I was like, you're going to have to deal with him for a few hours, let me sleep, because he's driving me crazy. And then I woke up at 8, and it was fine. And then we woke up this morning, and our phones were going crazy, like the times were changing. Like it was 8 something in the morning, and it would say that it was 1 something, or 4 something, or 11 something, and then... At first I thought it was my phone, but then Devin said, yeah, his was doing it too. And then I messaged my mom, I was like, is your phone messing up? She's like, yeah. And I was like, that's creepy. Because, you know, every time something like that happens, I think, I start thinking about movies I've seen. And, like, you know, it would be horrible if the phone, someone just went by the window. <laughs> if, like, the phones went down, you know. But whatever. I guess it's fixed now because it hasn't done it in a while. Jesse's moving, so I guess I gotta go. I'm gonna try to edit this pretty good, but I don't know where it cut me off last time. Hopefully it didn't cut me off too early because I don't have to refill. But this is on my phone so if the quality is different that's why. Oh it might actually be better. This is the camera that I use normally. Oh it's backwards. <laughs> it's a Nikon Coolpix. I'm sure there's a number because it's, I don't know, it's a 16 megapixel CMOS. I have no idea. I don't speak camera. But uh, Devin got this for me for my birthday three years ago maybe four there's kids outside <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and try to attempt to edit this I keep looking at myself this is why I don't need one of those fancy cameras that has a flip-up screen because I'd be looking at myself the whole time and I can't stand when youtubers do that I want them looking at the camera because it's like they're looking at me if that makes sense but there's a button I gotta go okay Jesse is still asleep that knock was the maintenance man again he came back to check the breaker and i told him that i already tripped it or whatever it's called it's tripped when it turns off i don't know what it's called i pushed it <laughs> i 
I hate living in apartments. I cannot wait. We're hopefully going to try to get a house next year, 2018. I hope that we do because I'm so ready to not, you know, for it to be us. I realize that the, um, you know, maintenance and everything is going to be on us then, but at least, at least it'll get done when we need it to get done. That's the way I see it. But anyways, I'm going to go edit this because he's probably going to wake up any minute now. And uh, I'm going to try not to go crazy if the maintenance man comes back because he's driving me crazy. And I'm going to work on the little hat and the Halloween thing and my bat ears. And Dobby. I think that's everything. I'm gonna hop off here because I'm starting to babble. No one wants to hear me babble. <laughs> Bye.